Hi, welcome to this episode. I'd like to show you here how we can use bunk speed hypermove and integrate it into our design process. And um, as such, we've uh, tested before hypershot, and uh, we were quite keen on finding out the difference between hypershot and hypermove. Uh, move the recently uh, hypermove has recently been renamed to move, uh, so in that sense, that's uh, a little different in there. Um, the main uh, interesting point for me initially was that hypermove. Uh, would allow me to immediately import my alias models, and that's what we're gonna. Uh, what that's what I've done here. Um, you can see that I've got the um, alias model here straight from alias, and it has adapted the shaders from alias as well. Um, the only uh, difference is there that sometimes you want to uh, adjust the uh, the shininess of the surfaces. Uh, this seems to be pretty good, but sometimes the shaders come in a little bit matter than that. If that does come in matter, you click on materials in this uh, simple interface, click on that material, you go to the highlight section and you change the highlight value either to darker, which is less, uh, less highlight, and make it lighter, and you get more highlight. That's pretty simple, pretty logical. Um, the other thing that you can do with uh, this software that you can't do with um, with Hypershot is if you go to the models there's not only can you click on the separate parts um, but you can also go and make joints in this case I've made for instance the joints for the uh, wheels and tires combination so I go to um, the pick model area and I pick this and I want to uh, move the joint and I rotate this unit around so that it has a different angle, see? And now it goes to 20.3 degrees that way. And then of course I have to adjust this wheel as well. To that direction, so not too much. But you can play around with that. You can even animate the wheels to uh, rotate like it's uh, the car is at speed and then you get that sort of uh, thing as well. You can also animate the camera within here and you can uh, adjust the scene with uh, different backgrounds. The major difference that I see here with uh, Bunk Speed's normal hyper, sh hyper shot is that it doesn't give you the ground shadow uh, immediately here, which is most likely for speed purposes, because I can rotate this pretty quickly. But I do like that effect that I can that I can already see what the shadows are going to be look like in um, that I have in hyper shot. Um, the rendering at the end result, the rendering is exactly the same, so that doesn't make a difference. But um, I just like to see a preview of it. The other thing that you can do with this is you can um, do ex play around extensively with texture maps. If I click, for instance, on this color again, and I say I want to uh, change this color and have a, a texture map uh, placed on it, I can click on color and give it a, a nice color scheme that I like. Go to here see what comes up. Uh, I like this one. So I'll put it over it. It's in uh, this case a Y planar projection. I've scaled it. I've made the original file in Photoshop um, as a simple um, JPEG image. You can make either JPEGs or uh, PNG files. Uh, PNG files you can uh, retain transparency if should that be necessary and then you have a totally different sort of vehicle in, uh, in looks. You can also apply decals uh, for this vehicle. In this case, uh, for instance, a race number is always good for a race car. So I quickly put the race number on there, adjust the size and the angle of the number, and put it in the right position. But even if I wanted, if I place it initially here, and I think, oh, maybe I want to try it out somewhere else, you can just drag the decal and drag it all over the body where you want to try it out and see what it looks like and if you like it somewhere else then you place it somewhere else I don't like it here so but it would be uh, in an interesting thought or it could be for other stickers that you want over the front or over the sides and that sort of thing so you can really play around with it you can uh, also split these materials up of these, these body shapes up and then uh, um, the stickers will either stick to that uh, area only or it goes everywhere else so we go back to the original, and then um, basically what you can do now is render it. Uh, what I've done uh, previously prepared for this is I've um, made the animation of the camera going around the car and up and that sort of thing in different versions of the vehicle. 
and I made another animation where you can see uh, the BMW vision concept where the, the doors open, the colors change and the camera goes around it um, which was placed in a 3DS uh, file environment all with HDR, uh, HDRI lighting um, so that animation comes after this show um, I hope you liked this, I hope it was informative I think it's a useful program and a good addition uh, but I would like to see this preview of the shadow underneath it that will be really, uh, that same level as Hypershot is really quite uh, handy to have uh, hopefully in the next uh, uh, test of this we can also show you Hyperdrive so see you then